This is Transformers Reveal the Shield Deluxe Class Turbo Tracks. Uh, the figure is part of Wave 1 of the Transformers Reveal the Shield uh, subline, the Deluxe Class series. And it is, by, on all intents and purposes, an epitomized homage, tribute, whatever you want to call it, to the old G1 tracks right here. Uh, this figure, this character is very, very uh, special to me because the G1 tracks was the very, very first Transformer figure I ever got. Uh, as you can see, it's so dusty, decrepit, and it's so dilapidated, and whatnot. I've not had the guts to really sell this one off because uh, it's been with me for the longest time. He was my first, first uh, figure, but nobody cares about that, right? Um, It'll just use him for reference now. As you can see, everything's loose. I impossible to transform him without breaking a piece. So we'll see if we can transform him later. Okay, no promises though. Uh, lots of faded bits and pieces here. Mm, pretty sad. Okay, um, let's do away with the commercials first before we, anything else. In my previous video, the reveal the shield special ops jazz. I have ne I neglected to, to to actually mention why it's called Reveal the Shield. Uh, I, I mentioned it in the back, back packaging, but really it's because of this old sticker that they were trying to do. As you can see, this is how the sticker looked like. It's supposed to be all black, flush black. I mean, if you apply heat, not press, but really rub it using friction or the heat of your own finger, uh, a certain chemical or whatever property of that sticker would reveal whatever the, the, the pattern was. Um, so that that's what would happen. So in, in, in an ideal situation, this would all be black as well as this symbol. But the temperature here in Manila, it's a tropical country. In this room right now when I'm doing this video is a little bit higher than normal. Um, uh, it's not too hot, but it's not cold. So with the warm air, I, you don't really need to rub it to, to actually reveal the shield or reveal the Autobot faction. If you do try and apply some uh, heat on it, it will just all it will do is just change color. So for those of you who PM have uh, messaged me or put left comments in my old jazz in, in my old my previous video of special ops jazz for not showing reveal the shield, I'm showing it now. It, just not very effectively because the shield has already been revealed because of the warm temperature here in this room and in the Philippines in general. So, okay, that's that. Um, on to Trax. He's a little bit pug-sized, uh, about the same size as Jazz, just a little bit shorter, I suppose, than Jazz. Here he is, way shorter, I suppose. Yeah, just, he is shorter than Jazz because he's about the same height as the Seeker mode, which, well, I am not really complaining too much since, since he's not that tall of a figure back in G1. Uh, silhouette, they tried to really um, get a lot of inspiration from the old figure with the wings, you know, teeny tiny wings. Uh, some gun cannons on his uh, shoulders, which I think this one is more of the, uh, um, what do you call those things? Alt al altern alternators. Yeah, an alternator's tracks. Uh, which really shot missiles, but this one it doesn't. Uh, the gun, gun is nowhere near what it looked like, uh, simply because that, well, it looks more like the missile and the gun cannon on Wheeljack. And for obvious reasons, which a lot of you already know, he will become repainted or redecoed as Wheeljack. So for efficiency's sake, they've made the gun akin to or similar to what the shoulder cannon would be and I suppose it would be the shoulder cannon eventually for Wheeljack because of the clip. You could also use it as a shoulder cannon I suppose but uh, he wouldn't be tracks that way. So he grips the, the hand very the, the the pistol, the gun very well. No firing missiles or anything, nothing like that. Um, so there. Let's get rid of the gun. The weapons do clip off. Uh, head sculpt is a lot closer, not so much the G1 toy, but to the actual uh, cartoon uh, head uh, or design. Uh, if you watched the 80s show, you'll know that he's a very vain 
well, a little bit vain. He's an aspiring movie star. Uh, I, I thought it was so ridiculous. I had no idea why they Tazer would try to do that, or Sunbow Productions or whatever. But I don't know. I like tracks. I really like his alt mode, his bot mode, and the old G1 transformation was one of those that I really, really loved because he had that rotating waist, and not a lot of transformers had waist articulation back then. So that's that. Let me just quickly show off the uh, um, packaging. Again, it says, well, he's got it correctly this time. Press to reveal this Autobot or Decepticon Allegiance or Rub. So, articulation-wise, he's got a ball-jointed neck. He's got lots of shoulder articulation, uh, shoulder, ball hinge, sh uh, no, ball-jointed shoulder. Uh, bicep swivel, double hinge elbows, and a swivel wrist. He's got waist swivel, ball-jointed hips, a hinge knee, and a very articulated foot. He's got hinges on the foot and as well as a ball jointed patella or metatarsals, whatever, the toes. Which really looks great on paper or in concept, but the ball joints on mine are just a tad bit loose. They're, they're not super loose, they're tight enough, but when you try to get him in poses, FX friends poses, he just melts and I'm just too lazy to fix it with uh, clear nail polish, but um, you know, very articulated legs, but uh, very weak toes, and the kibble, the bits and pieces of his car, really get in the way of total articulation for this figure. But still, a, w a wonderful figure, and you know, I, I don't, I, I don't think, I haven't met. A Transformer fan out here in Manila who does not want to get this figure. So, very cool, very nice, nice paint apps. It's a sort of glossy blue they were trying to go for, much like how Swerve was, um, Revenge of the Fallen Swerve. He's got some metallic gray right here, here and there, white and black, red. All colors of tracks. So, transform him. We're going to do... We're going to do him first in alt mode, then we'll try and do the uh, official, um, or based on the instructions, um, uh, jet mode, or aircraft mode, whatever. Also, this thing opens up like that. I don't know why. Maybe just to aid in transformation and to aid in articulation, I suppose. But same way that this panel opens up, so you could fit a small figure, I suppose, they try to do it here as well. So transform him. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and fold up the feet. You want to go, do it. You want to go ahead and do this one first. Uh, the instructions also, by the way, they just tell you to flop the feet forward. You're going to break pieces doing that. What you do is you flip it out first, the bumper, and then you can fold it out. But don't just do that. I tried doing it. I almost broke it. Stupid instructions. Well, no, no, no. Instructions are great. Keep the instructions. Don't throw them away. They're so useful. And especially now that Hasbro is printed on front and back, how it transform into alt mode and back, and into robot mode and the back. So he still retains that awesome hip transfer, the waist swivel transformation. Um, and I am so happy that Hasbro has really brought back the old automorph uh, feature, which I think is a far superior gimmick than the. Uh, um, how do you call it? The Mech Alive gimmick. Anyway, I'm talking as I'm transforming. Anyway, just do that and f collapse the wing. i go ahead and fold the teeny tiny wings. Fold it this way. Okay. Then what you want to do is lower the head. Oh, sorry. Yeah, lower it. And then the automorph happens. Very nice. Go ahead and collapse the front part of the car or his legs. And form the front part of the car. Then this is a little bit tricky. What you want to do is how do you do this? Okay, fold up the arm, fold up the the wrists. Rotate the wrists, sorry. Do this, do this, fold out the wheels, and then do this. Like that. I think. No, not like that. Like this. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I got confused. Sorry, my bad. Anyway. And then the gun stores neatly right there. You go ahead and fold it. And just like that. Stores away neatly. I hope. And then those pegs right there, they peg onto these bits of the forearm, which you can go ahead and tab in first before you fold. And finally, just fold up the doors slash wings. And if you can, just join every one of them, every bit of the, that panel squarely. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. This thing is just... Okay. Alright. And there is Reveal the Shield Turbo Tracks in his sort of Corvette. It's not a Corvette anymore. It's I don't know what it is anymore. It's supposed to be a Corvette lookalike, but that's his alt mode. Do you want to compare him with this one? Absolutely. Very slowly. Come on. Okay. <laughs> As I said, <clears throat> this figure is completely hopeless. Uh, okay. I have no idea how to actually fix this one anymore. But anyway, we'll, we'll see if we can still... Yeah, it's missing the doors, obviously. Um... So we're just, I'm going to do my best to just show you what tracks, the alt mode of tracks look like back in the 80s. So, come on. God, this toy should be thrown away. And just... So he looks something like that. Uh, with the, the sort of the flight mode being, stretching the arms like that. Doing the same thing on the other one, that would be the flight mode. Yeah, but... Uh, Okay, there. It looks something like that. Eh. This thing is just junk. But lots of sentimental value, that's why it's still with me. Um, these things, they clip on here, just like that. And that is the official alt mode. Now, for the official uh, flight mode, go ahead and remove these, open this one up. There is a pan. Oh, sorry, it's already been rotated. In the alt mode, it should be like that. It should be flat, just like that. Uh, and then you can you can collapse it. You get the idea. Uh, but in in flight mode, you go ahead and rotate it. That's where the guns, the the shoulder cannons are gonna fall in, and then uh, or or peg in, and then um, the doors or the wings you just fold them out this way like that and there is supposedly his official alt mode based on the instruction the uh, flight mode there are a lot of reviewers already shown us how to sort of reconfigure this one here and there but I'm really not interested in that anymore I just I'm just really happy um, to see him in a in, 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 in just this redefined mode and I forgot what these things do of course show them off I mean like that just like in the old one that's sort of his flight battle mode but uh, we're gonna keep it here and before we run out of time again um, let me just leave you with uh, turbo tracks in his really gorgeous alt mode Really, just a wonderful figure. If you can still, if you you can find one retail, go pick him up. If you're having trouble um, finding him, do what I do. I shop at Art Toys. In fact, I actually got this figure at Art Toys. If you're in Manila, go visit Art Toys at V Mall, uh, Green Hill Shopping Center in San Juan City, Metro Manila. There you go. Transformers, uh, uh, reveal the shield. Deluxe class Turbo Tracks. Thanks for watching.